Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today guys, we're going to take a look at an older article where it refers to the S&P being really, really fucking dumb. So, what is the article we have to look at today? This is... New bill aims to help Scotland keep place with the EU laws after Brexit. Yeah, we're back to this kind of stage again, are we? This was made on the 19th of June, so we're quite late with this one. But... It's still quite relevant to show how much they grudge the fact they're losing their European Union friends. Because, apparently, we just can't handle it without them. But it's not like they've tried to do that through the, you know, propaganda of their own throughout Scotland. Like, there's a school in Keith where they say, oh yeah, this was funded by EU funding with help. And there's, like, Scottish Highland Roads. I think there's ones in Elgin, Bucky. Um, I think there's a lot of them in Mully. There's a lot of these places. There's a, Eans Aberdeen as well. Most of the loads that they keep saying, they're saying, oh, this was funded by EU help as well. It's always been there. Just no one ever talks about it. And you always just drive past it and say, oh, EU. Okay. So, this is just them trying to get back to the EU and say, hey, look, we're good friends. They're not. It's very bad. But we're not going to talk about that. So we could, we might as well take a look at the article in here and see what it says because it's fucking hilarious. Uh, laws in Scotland could help keep place those in the European Union after the Brexit transition periods end, as Scottish ministers have said. Okay, fine. Constitution Secretary Mike Russell said new bill in Hollywood would mean that a devolved matters Scottish law can keep in line with those in Europe when appropriate in when appropriate and practical to do so. Jesus. The Scottish Government says the UK withdrawal European Union Community Scotland Bill will provide for community prohibition that would otherwise be lost with Brexit, which is we're already leaving the European Union anyway. This is why the Scottish Government don't understand, especially the SNP, they're just fucking stupid. Um, legislation will give the Scottish Ministers the central and the powers to align Scottish law with EU legislation after transition period ends on December 31st. That wouldn't make sense because that means we'd have to be aligned with the European Union and that means we would have to be with the European Union when we've left the European Union. Have I missed something? I don't know. Uh, the bill also includes prohibitions to ensure EU environment principles of governments can continue in Scotland. Yeah, yeah, the thing you fucking failed up on and you blame the weather for that. Yeah, okay, sure. A new body of the Environmental Standards Scotland will be it will be set up to ensure compliance with EU environmental law. Mr. Russell says it's completely unacceptable that Scotland's been taken out of the EU, but the bill will enable us to be in developed areas where at least to keep place with Europe when appropriate and practical both do so. It's acquired a direct result of the UK's withdrawal from the EU and is more urgent because the UK government's reckless you refuses to ask for extension for the Brexit transition period. So that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about because we we're, we're not going for the tran the Brexit transaction. That's what it is. You guys aren't caring about the environment. You're caring about the fucking Brexit extension. Well, you could have fooled nobody, couldn't you? Oh well. The bill's proposal on environmental principles and governance is also helped to maintain high standards. Uh, okay, low standards. In the high line with the EU and Scotland, but they're not actually welcome in Europe because I think there's a big issue that we're going to talk about in another video where Catalonia could be kicked out if Spain helps Scotland instead of Catalonia and it's going to be a whole shit show there. But we'll talk about another video. The These important measures can Completement, our Environment Se Secretary for Scotland's vision of published in February, helped us to prevent the restore Scotland's natural environment and strive to live within our planet's sustainable limits. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we've done that before anyway, but okay. Its purpose is, its purpose is the creation of the new government's body, Environmental Standards Scotland, which will be able to investigate whether the public authorities are following, failing to comply with environmental law. This takes steps to ensure public authorities remedy a failure to comply with environmental law 
as well as an investigative and effectiveness and delivery of the environmental law and public authorities. Mr Lustos discussed the bill on further and Scottish Government's concentration committee on Friday. Tory MSP, Tory MSP Murdo Fraser said that the form of December EU laws will be made without input to anyone in the UK. Well, that's fine, because we don't want to be in the fucking EU. But it's okay, they're going to be arguing about that anyway. But he asked Mr Russell what the Scottish Government seems to be proposing in this bill, and Scottish Ministers will have the, the power, the discretion, and to determine whether these new EU, EU laws would become part of Scots law. There won't there won't be need for any detailed concentration or permanality scrutiny. They will be imposed by regulation. This is not a grab power by Scottish ministers. Mr Russell denied that there would be a case for saying law cannot be conveyed by the Scottish Parliament at any time without scrutiny. <laughs> okay. There will be but there is no mechanism to do so without scrutiny so the false assumption well 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 so they're going to propose a new law or they're going to force through a new law like the hate speech law and they're going just to get away with it i guess and i wonder why they're getting annoyed when they got all these powers back weird i wonder if any of those laws that we got back with the 160 of them had anything to do with that maybe they just want to be friends with their european partners hmm but it looks like the uh, Scottish government seems to be more trying to get as much powers as they can and be best friends with the European Union. But we know that's not the case because there was a study that said nearly 27, 27 of all the EU countries would rather say no to the European uh, Scotland join the European Union. So say if we were to leave, good fucking luck, like good luck because that's not going to happen. And if Scotland does do that and it goes into the revolution, it's going to be Far Cry 6. It's going to be Far Cry 5. It's going to be Pagan Min for Far Cry 4. It's going to be this again. It's going to be literally the video game reality version. I don't know how much it takes for Scottish people to wake up how stupid they are, but they every time they wake up every day and they say, I live in a utopia, there's nothing wrong. And when they wake up the next day and realize all their rights, their liberties and that and freedom of speech is gone. Because we know it's in university campuses, it's in the big cities such as Edinburgh, Aberdeen, Inverness, Glasgow, Dundee. Those are the big places where these massive SJW hubs are. But these are also the places where the European Union love spots are as well. Because they're like, oh look we benefit from it all. But you don't seem to share about it very much the money do you? Like you showed back in the bill that you proposed for everyone's, uh, what was it? Everyone should got a fair sum of money, but the Tory area was like the third worst area from the fucking Shetlands when they were given the bill of the year, whatever it was. Here's the picture here, you see it there. But may I guess, maybe I'm just racist. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, hail the empire.